This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, Doing What is Right Will Kill You. I'm convinced if you did everything people told you to do to maintain a healthy lifestyle, you would never get anything done. For example, exercise consumes a lot of time, whether it's performed in your house or off-site at a gym. Since I like to go to the gym, I find I must change clothes, travel to its location, work out, return home, clean up, and change clothes. No matter how I try to expedite the process, it's an easy hour shot. Playing a round of golf, going for a walk, or a ride on a bicycle may be fun, but it also chews up time and zaps your energy. I recently took a sauna, something I haven't done in a long time. It was refreshing, but I had to change clothes and wait for the unit to warm up. Afterwards, I had to take a shower, my second of the day, to clean myself properly before going out for the evening. Again, another hour shot. Buying and consuming certain groceries and vitamin pills consumes time as well. We're admonished to eat organically. As much as we would like to avoid preservatives, fatty foods, breads and pastas, and sweets, it can become challenging to find new and creative ways to make meals. Shopping takes longer, as does cooking. You try to avoid the boob tube and do some reading, but interferences seem to get in the way. Consequently, it seems to take longer to read a book. Smoking and alcohol can take up quite a lot of time. As I no longer smoke or consume much alcohol, except for the occasional scotch, I would like to think I have more free time to relax. Instead, I find myself spending more time outside pruning bushes or digging up a garden. I've been so good lately in terms of watching what I eat and drink, I'm ready to scream, rip off my clothes, pound down a case of beer, and eat a dozen Twinkies. Doing the right thing all the time can drive you stark raving mad. And if I did so, I would probably get a lot done as opposed to worrying about the idiosyncrasies of my health. My luck is such that if I remain incredibly healthy from exercise and diet, I'm more likely to be run over by a truck. At my funeral, I'm sure they'll say, well, at least he looks good, but he should have laid off the red meat. You can't win. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.